to my YouTube channel, thank you so much for watching. Today I want to talk a little bit about anxiety. Now, first of all, I'm absolutely not an expert on anxiety issues, so I don't want anyone to think that I am. I can only speak about my own experiences and share those with you in the hope that it might help you or you might be able to identify with some of the issues that I've had myself. So, here goes. This week has been a very interesting week for me so far. It is actually only Wednesday and it is my day off. So that kind of gives you a flavour of how the week's been going so far. It feels like it's been very long. I, as I've told you before, I work as an investigator. Um, I'm not gonna speak about any of the work that I actually do because that's quite private. Uh, but it is quite a stressful job. And I think anyone that knows me will know that sometimes the job can get on top of you. On top of that, and as I've spoken about before, I have this medical condition, this genetic condition, which affects me in different ways, but especially with my kidneys, and it gives me a lot of pain pretty much every single day, but some days more than others, the pain is so excruciating that I just can't do things I would normally do. I just can't function like I would normally function. Um, and this has been one of those weeks, unfortunately, where it has flared up more than usual. It all started on Sunday and I was just kind of minding my own business, having a nice day, and then it hits you and the pain is kind of crippling really. Like I ended up sort of laying around on the sofa, um, having a bath, everything to try and make it feel better and it didn't work. Then it come to Monday and I was due in to work and I do work full time. Um, and usually I would go into the office on a Monday, no problem, it's about an hour and a half's commute and you know, usually that's fine. Um, but I wake up on Monday and I was just in loads and loads of pain, basically. So I, I'm so lucky actually, I just want to say I'm so lucky because I have a really, really good boss and I have a really great organisation that I work for and they let me work from home when I'm not feeling very well. As long as I'm well enough, then they'll let me work from home. So luckily that's what I did on Monday. And usually within a day, the pain kind of starts to subside and then I can start getting on with my life again and everything goes back to normal. But this week, for some reason, um, my kidneys have decided to play up for like a lot longer. So I woke up Tuesday morning, yesterday morning, and, um, well, basically, I couldn't really move. And I don't mean I couldn't move in terms of like there were issues with my muscles. I mean, to move, it was kind of excruciating agony. Um, and I'm lucky enough that I've got my husband around and he's so great, like he helps me out as much as he can. Um, you know, helps like sort of supports me on the way to the loo in the morning and then, you know, like make sure I've got everything I need before he goes off to work as well. Um, but yesterday, and I was working from home again yesterday, the pain was so bad that I just had to stay in bed all day. I couldn't get up and walk around, I couldn't get up and get my breakfast, I couldn't do anything. Um, and so as a result of that, I feel pretty crap. I'll be honest and today I'm lucky to save my day off because I work compressed hours now so I do all of my weekly hours in four days so that I can have this day to recover um, and most of the time that's perfectly fine because I've had like little spells of pain and this day is great. This week still in pain you can't see it obviously it's one of those things you just can't see it um, but obviously a lot better than yesterday. So, getting to the point, having that happen just gives me so much anxiety. And the reason it does is because I worry about so many different things all in one go. And I think so many people out there probably have experienced the same thing, like especially if you've got a bit of a chronic illness or something which can't be seen, but you know it's there. Um, or anyone else that's got an illness that you can see and is, and you know, it's visibly there as well. 
but basically I feel like I'm letting people down so I feel like I'm letting work down I feel like I'm letting my boss down I feel like I'm letting the people that I deal with down I feel like I'm letting myself down I feel like I'm letting my husband down and the reason that I feel like that is because I spent all day having to be in bed yesterday and I can't obviously do the things that I might usually do so like coming from work, clean up, coming from work, make dinner, just silly little things that actually in the grand scheme of things aren't really that important when you're in that much pain. But when you find yourself consistently being unable to do these things, it just is so frustrating to the point of making me anxious because I just think, oh, here I go again, it's happening again. I'm letting my boss down again. I have to tell her again that I can't come in again. And it's nothing to do with my boss, because my boss is amazing. It's literally just the fact that I have to do it. And I think so many people must be suffering from the same anxiety. And I do think that there isn't enough publication out there, enough publicity out there about it. And yeah, I just want to change that really by putting myself out there and just explaining how it makes me feel. And, you know, like I'm not a beacon for anyone or anything like that, but, but it is something that is, has been affecting me. And today especially, having a day off, knowing that yesterday was spent in bed and I was working and I did get work done, but knowing that I should have been in the office and then having to day off, which I am supposed to have, is difficult. And, and I know it sounds ridiculous that like I'm saying having a day off is difficult, but from a, like an anxiety point of view, I'm anxious because I'm thinking, well, should I, should I have gone into the office today? Should I have, you know, put in extra work today because I couldn't go into the office yesterday? Well, you know, what's going on? Have I, you know, have I messed something up because I wasn't feeling 100% yesterday? Like there's so many thoughts that go through my head. And I know even saying it out loud now, that it might come across as absolutely ridiculous. But I genuinely just think that we put so much pressure on ourselves to be a certain way and to be in line with everyone else. And sometimes it's just not possible. And so I guess what, really, what I want out of it is to stop being so hard on myself and to just sit there and say, do you know what, Chell's like, it's okay. You weren't very well, it's okay. Don't worry about it. What can you do? Like, you have this condition, there's nothing you can do about it. And certainly everyone around me makes me feel that way or you know tries to make me feel that way so it's all, it is all just me and I think perhaps if more people were aware of the anxiety that these issues can cause and more people spoke about them a bit more openly then maybe may just maybe some of us wouldn't be so hard on ourselves so I think if you do have a condition like this like please let me know let me know, contact me, DM me on Instagram, there's my Instagram, email me, do whatever, let me know and let me know how you deal with it and how you feel about it because it would be so nice to hear from somebody else's perspective how it makes you feel. And also, you know what, if you don't have a condition but you do actually, you know, come across this, maybe you're a manager or maybe you see someone at work, your friends, someone who experiences this, like, let me know what you think as well because in my head I'm like all my colleagues think I'm skiving off I barely work and barely get anything done when in reality I'm you know I hope that that is not the case but it would be really good to hear from people and see what they think so yeah but also um try other things like I've been trying things like these little mental health exercises there's this this app called happy fire which does little like exercise like that and also making these videos does a lot for me it helps me like express how I'm feeling and get it out and I don't have to do it like face to face with someone so yeah so I don't know if this has been helpful in any way but this has just been me kind of I feel like ranting at camera but if it has helped let me know and if you can think of any ways that I can improve on feeling so anxious about all of these things then please also do let me know that would be great and I'm going to end this here because I'm rambling on. So <laughs> thank you for watching and I'll speak to you.